All right, mates, so we're doing more Paper Mario Remake. Oh, yes, more Mario Remake. Nintendo. Oh, 64. Oh, yeah, I forgot the opening cutscene lags. <laughs> it still doesn't like the, um... It still doesn't like the 60 FPS mod. Well, I'd say, I'd say, let's say the quote unquote 60 FPS mod. Because, uh, I don't think it's really 60 FPS. It's just, I don't know. Maybe I'm gaslighting myself into thinking it runs better than it actually does. Anyways, um,. We're gonna do chapter 7 today. After failing hilariously at the Prince Mush fight last night. And it's only been like... 8 hours? No, it's been 9 hours since I attended that fight. So I literally went to bed, woke up, had breakfast, and now I'm playing this again. <laughs> I mean, today is also a nice day, because I might get to, um... I might get to finish Danganronpa today. I'm not sure, though. I'll have to see that for myself, really. Alright, a piss off, Koop Troll. Guys, those guys are mad aggressive. Cody is the name, and magic is my game. So there is a question I have about this. I wonder if you can stand on that like in the original. I guess we'll see, right? Flower Saber P. I got to hear the funny the funny badge sound effect. Well, let me test let me test it out. So in the original, you can stand on this little piece of you can stand on that. I think they got rid of that though can't do that anymore, so you have to actually, like, go up, <laughs> fall back down, and then Yoshi across. That might have been a change that only really I cared about, but, you know, it is what it is. I think this is the same. Yeah. Oh yeah, right, I still have the fucking peach sounds, which I might keep, because funny. It's funny. By the way, in the last nine hours, I figured out what the missing recipe is. It turns out the missing recipe is actually, um, a lot simpler than I thought. The, the recipe is just pretty simple. It's just you mix a hot dog with a, um, you mix hot sauce and a hot dog, and that's all it is. So, yeah. Pretty much the gist of it. Anyways, we're gonna go to Far Outpost. Chapter 7, Mario shoots the moon. He shoots it with a gun. That joke's not very creative. Everybody's made that joke, come on. Wow, seriously, it's so cold. Our outpost must be just ahead. Let's hurry up before our toes get frozen. Ooh. Look at this fucking music. I didn't think I didn't think they could make Far Outpost sound good. Correctly, I think there's something else on this screen. Oh, there's a panel right here, apparently. There's still something. 
there like a shine sprite behind here? Where is this? Is it right here? Hello? Apparently there's something right here. Oh. There was a coin in that bush. Pretty interesting. Dude, I fucking love this remix of uh, Far Outpost. It's amazing. Like, it sounds more sinister and, like, epic sounding. I don't know how the fuck they did that. Okay, I see that shine sprite. Damn, I have six plus attack power. Damn, listen to this remix. Damn, chapter seven's going hard already. That's an ice puff. It's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. It slows down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. That cold breath could freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if we touch it with a storm cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? When it gets worse, it'll absorb any ice attacks we throw at it. They're vulnerable to fires. Let's try that, maybe. Wait, I haven't been- I need to tile the areas. You. We got a super shroom for that. I need to take out my area. Or take, I need to take out my items. This slowly falling snow is totally beautiful, but it's super, super cold out here. If I lived here long enough, I'd probably turn into an abominable Goomba. Let's make our way to Far Outpost. Just step ahead, and it'll be warmer in this spot, I hope. Eh. See, Mario, did you know walking in the snow leaves really cool footprints? Whose footprints are these? Thing is, the snow's falling so hard they totally disappear quickly. Uh, yeah, you can see that detail. I'm pretty sure that detail wasn't the original, too. Oh. Oh. I don't have fire drive on, do I? Frost Prana. It has a Frost Prana. It's a cool customer with strong ice powers. Its frozen breath attack can freeze us, so try to immobilize it first. Its weak against fire attacks, too, so use them well. As said, I don't even, don't even think about using ice attacks. It'll absorb those. I don't think I can kill this guy in one turn. Nine damage. Oh, that's that is new. What the fuck? That's brand new. The uh, the frost pranas don't have um, they don't have that in the original. Okay, well, I might I might have to run. <laughs> Either that or I use my thunderbolt. Let's use a thunderbolt. Boom. I do 11 damage, though. That is a very scary move for Frost Pranas to have, though, not gonna lie. Hmm. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. There might be something in these bushes. This way. 
There's something here. Is it in the bush? Is it in the tree? Is it in the... I think that's it. Just making sure I 100% this area. Something over here? Hmm. Is it in this bush? I mean, I like that you can actually interact with those bushes now. That's pretty. That's a pretty cool detail. Okay, let me actually make sure I have the right badges on then. Oh, and Velvet P is also pretty good. Alright, take up Piercing Blow, take up Power Bounce, put on Fire Drive. Um, I, mean, I don't know, I have two Power Pluses and a P up D down on, that's pretty crazy. Yep, this should be good. Alright. Should be able to do a lot of damage now. Hey Mario, check it out. I can totally see my breath. Must be pretty cold, huh? It's just so awesome. I grew up in a warm place, so this is totally new to me. Yeah, Farrell Post got a massive glow up. Oh! oh. Ooh, perfect. Wow! I just shredded through those guys. So it did plus one because of the elemental weakness. And it did plus three because of my, uh... What do you call it? It did plus three because of my power badges. And then I did, um... Plus two more because of my power rush. Nope. So we have... Path to Far Outpost. That's a different area from Far Outpost itself. A layer of freshly fallen snow covers this path that leads to Far Outpost. You can see the Toad Sisters, like, shivering. So there's Far Outpost. I wonder where the cannon that shoots to the moon is. I guess we should start by talking to the villagers, don't you think? Yeah, I got all these star pieces, mate. This is far outpost. It's a village full of bob -bombs. How do they survive on this cold anyway? Don't their fuses freeze off? You'd think these people would be bitter living here, but they all look just fine. There's the cannon that can she goes to the moon. Let's try asking the locals about it. Snow is rare for you, Bakak. In Far Outpost, it falls all year round, Babang. I like watching it shine in glow of sunset, Baboomba. Welcome to Far Outpost. Oh, that is good lip warmer you got there. Okay, I now give my special mustache wing personality analysis, yes? Ah, uh, mmm. Da, da, mmm, da. You got, I got it now. Your bushy broom means that you are stubborn and selfish man. How did I know? I have certain experience with mustache like that, you see. So apparently, apparently the bob bombs are not as Russian as they used to be. Which is a weird change. I mean, I don't know if they were Russian in the Japanese script anyway. This is bob -omb village, da bluey. There is nothing here, da bomb -oh. As you can guess... From my Kalabami reserved demeanor, many of the bombs only open up to other bob -omb's. So what if I have Bobbery out? Your bob -omb companion will understand, Karako. I might as well have Valerie out then. So is it for you, Pukak? In Fire Up? I think I read this one already. <laughs> Hello, Travel. First time in out Fire Up Post Kabui. What? Fire Up Post Cannon? Well, I apologize for that. No, I just had distraction. It is nothing. Kapawi. 
Well, we gotta tattle all of them, too. That's Fred. He's not very freaky for a Fred, though. What? Not all Freds are freaky? News to me. <laughs> Fred? I didn't know that was his name. That's Knob, a far outpost. He's a frank and refreshing little guy, huh? You know, it just stuck me that only Bobums live here, huh? I think that's Knob. They, do they all have, like, unique names? I didn't know that. That's Rob of Far Outpost. He can judge personality by a person's facial hair. I've never heard of that sort of talent, personally. He may be lying his little fuse off. That's a Far Outpost bomb. No clothes, but do they mind the snow? No. I grew up in a warm place, so this is like an icebox for me. Cute. They're the Chilly Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters 3. We came to Far Outpost for the skiing and ice skating, but there's nothing here. It's cold. It's too cold. Is Mayor going to piss on the moon? Maybe. I tell you, we should have at least checked the guy before we come here. Well, they all have, like, unique freezing sprites. Oh, you know what? Ain't there a fucking panel in this room? I actually don't remember if there is. Miss Mouse, is there anything left in this area? Okay. Nope, there's no panel there. I'm just stupid. Yeah, if I remember correctly, if you go to this door, Marta would be like, let me in! Hey! I like that they have, like, an animation of Mario just, like, fucking, and fucking trying to break in, instead of just saying, like, oh, it's locked. I like that more, honestly. This is part of Far Outpost. There's a shop in, in here, is that something? They have a huge can like monument over there too. Very babombish. Where's this can I can shoot us to the moon? Let's try asking the locals about it. I make big snow bob today. Maybe I am as big as him someday, Papawi. But I do not want the melting happen to me, Papoom. That's Gob. He says he wants to get bigger. Hey pal, I hear what you're saying. He built that snow bob just to show how big he wants to grow. Now that's big. Well, we have anything to say to these guys? Well, we can at least save. Snowmen, igloos, so fights. Yes, all good, but snow gets boring sometimes, Chaboom. That's a bomb for Far Outpost. He's kind of sick of playing in the snow, I think. I'm sure he'd have fun if we take him to Keelhaul Key or Glitzville, you know? Just making sure there's no, like, star pieces around here. Oh yeah, so I'm not mistaken, I think this is the last Shine Sprite in the game. It's just right here. But I should have three now. Yep, so we have all Shine Sprites in the game now. Look at that. Hold the crystal star from chapter 7 in front of the crystal... The crystal door? The thousand year door. Collect all the shine sprites. I have all the shine sprites now, so yeah. There's 30. Th we have we have two more star pieces. We need to find somewhere. It is so peaceful today. Wa boom. Far outpost is a nice restful place. Wa bloom. That's a bomb. Far outpost. Why is he digging down into the snow like that? Maybe he's just a deep guy. Anything unique to say? I, I, they might have unique stuff to say with Aubrey. Look at that nice sky, makes you feel vastness of space. Lots of space, baboom. That's a bomb from our outpost. You seem to be working on something, though. It's something tough. It must be nice to lie in the falling snow and think of things over carefully. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure there's star piece in here. Now look how moody this place is. Pretty sure there's a panel here. In front of the cannon. Well, this, like, fake looking cannon, anyway. So I think we have all the star pieces from Far Outpost now. Yep. I think that's all the star pieces in the game, almost. Like, how many left do we need? Like, I don't know. I know there's some in, in 
X not fortress. Also, here's where you buy shooting stars normally. I might buy one of these, honestly. That is 30 coins for you shooting star. You like? You buy it, da? I give thanks to you. Yes, yes, welcome to the North Winds Mart. We have many goods. What can be done for you? I have in storage. What what kind of garbage did I end up putting in my in my fucking inventory this time? Actually, this stuff isn't too bad. Hmm. Not bad. Uh, well, yeah, you know what? Let's take out the courage meal and the trials too for shits and giggles. You know, maybe I'll end up using the space food in battle. Anything else I can help you with? Come back, da. Ask the manager of Northwinds. You can buy and sell items here. It's so nice and warm inside. Can we just hang out in here until my nose thaws out? I always wondered if these were guys or ladies. But it's you can never really tell, honestly. Also, there's an any coupon here. I might as well use it. Ah, Mosita Malasatash. I've tried too many times to talk to the girl in the inn, and she kicked me out. Say encarable. Now I must use the heat of my feelings for it to melt the snow. Achoo! You gotta handle this guy. He's come out even this forsaken place. Talk about the to talk of totally tenacious. This dude's serious. Okay, well the 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 bottom in the inn is a lady at least. <laughs> Make body and nine better, da. Welcome to inn. Stay of one night is only 15 coins. I'll use an ink coupon. <laughs> Did you get good night's sleep? Please enjoy a meal made by Chef Zesty featuring local ingredients if you hunger. Take care and see you again. Yeah, you got another space food. Might have to use one of those in battle, you know? I think we've talked to everybody here. Okay, maybe not this guy. I know nothing, Chaboy. I know nothing about local cannon lovingly named, nicknamed Big Bob Shazoom. That's Swab. He's the type of guy who just says whatever he's thinking, you know? To be honest, I kind of like people like that. Actually, I, gotta, I just remember something. Don't I need a honey candy for a later rest- for like a later trouble or something? Maybe I should put that in storage so I don't accidentally use it. There it is. Yeah. Because I remember there's a trouble. I think it's post chapter 7. But there's a trouble where one of the bombs here, he says like, Hey, I want a honey candy or something. You gotta give them to him. That's the mayor of Far Outpost. He doesn't seem too interested in welcoming us. But me and Bob Bombs are like super, super closed off society or something. Yes. What business do you have here? Hello. What? Cannon? No such thing as here. What? Wait, listen, we definitely heard there was a can around here. What do you want me to say? We do not have one. What? Did I not tell you we have no silly cannon? Mario boy, perhaps the outpost mayor will be more receptive by guy the negotiation. Bob to Bob -om. I do love I do love this, where you have Bobbery just fucking roast the shit out of this guy. But did I not tell you we have no silly cannon? Now listen here, you're the mayor, hmm? How can a fisher like you lie that way? Old boy, I know I saw a cannon the last time I was here. So do not lie, sir. Shush, you call yourself a bomb, I spit at you. You know rules. There is to be no mention of cannon to non bomb bombs. No mention. We must not allow it to be used in evil. Of course, I know all that, you great blowhard. But we must use that cannon to get to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world can end. Hmm, huh. Well, it could end. 
Uh, well, we cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances? We must have permission of Goldbob to use cannon. He is the one who started the whole blasting things the faraway places fallacy. Once he gets rich, he lets business slide and does not start it up again. Also, General White was the one who devoted himself to operation of cannon. But he was so depressed by losing it job that he took cannon key and ran off to settle it far, far away. Hmm. Well, I don't remember it. I don't know if that was the dialogue in the original, but it's definitely, definitely, uh, fits a lot better. Count Bob and General White. Yes, that is correct. If you want to use cannon, you must find Gold Bob and General White. Very well, then. We can't give up now, old boy. Mario, the search is on. Let's go find those two bob -ums. Well, once you find them, come back and talk to me. Gold Bob is about his father, right? Where did we last see him? As for General White, do you have any idea where he might be? Maybe some quiet, peaceful town? Alright, well, guess, guess it's finally time, huh? We're finally gonna do the fucking General White side quest. Yep. But hey, man, I mean, let's just see how the General White side quest goes. I don't think it'll be too bad. The only annoying thing might be coming back to Far Outpost after everything's done. But that's about my only complaint, really. Oh, fuck, I got stuck, dude. Wow. Oh, fuck, that is so fast. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, piss. Dude, this will be a this will be a great time to have runaway pay or something, you know? But runaway pay is not in this game. <laughs> Even if it was, I probably wouldn't put it on still. mark these areas differently, you know, that's pretty neat. Having a warp pie at the far outpost will be nice, though. Alright, away we go. And it, it, it still feels a bit uncanny at times that there's a, just an Origami King style, like, warp room in this game. It still feels weird to me. But, yeah. Anyways, let's go get- let's go do Gold Bob first. Doo -doo -doo -doo. People ask me if I get tired walking the same route every day. And I say, no way, Jose. I think it's the same. You know, the town changes. You don't ever see it another day. Change every day like it's unique. I'm, I'm still wondering if any of this dialogue has changed. Actually, it sure sounds nice in this version. Good day, you Bungzales. What can I do for you today? What's that you say? You must use the cannon in a far outpost to save the world? 
Did they give Gold Bob his own theme song too? Hmm, well that is a rather pickle, isn't it? Very well then. I shouldn't it? Oh, your favorite too, hmm? Yes, I should say. The truth is, I had hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us, I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. Oh? Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so... I need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. Oh, what amount of money, just how much would you pay for me, I ask? Everything I have. What? You'd pay every coin you own? All of them? Yeah, really. So, really? Yes. Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know that means you'll be left with zero coins with absolutely nothing. You know that, don't you? Yes. I mean, think of it, man. If you spent all your coins, and I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty on the road. Yes. But hold on, I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. Yes. You won't say just kidding later on, right? So I told Fulgur that that. I can really take them all, really? Yes. Well, all right then. Well, you've certainly shown me something, sir. So, I gave my permission for you to use the act for you to activate the Fahadar Post Cannon. Gold Bob's is pass. Gold Bob's written permission to use the Fahadar Post Cannon. Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How could I take your money? <laughs> it's a shame, I suppose. But I'll return your money. Now, soldier on, my boy. Please put the Fire Up Post Cannon to good use, saving the world and whatnot. Gonzalez, I was so impressed with the way you offered up all your coins. You're pretty cool, mister. You're a champion, and a detective, and you're seeing the world. Already in issue 6. An unknown businessman was taken into custody today by port authorities as he tried to board the blimp carrying large amounts of volatile red liquid. After a few tense moments, authorities identified the liquid as a spicy condiment and the businessman was sub subsequently released. Our RDM reporters were mystified by the following unsolicited comment. Why our hot new hot sauce, folks? This week we have the pleasure of introducing the fabulously luxurious shop of the X Express. The sales stall. The unique boutique on the exclusive train of the independently wealthy just reeks of money, and perhaps the idyllic landscapes rushing past will loosen your pierced strings. Purse strings. <laughs> Says the impeccably dressed manager of sales. Come on, come one all, come call. I can't read. Be rich or not at all. To our lovely sales stall. He then announced a double point sale for all RDM readers. Just show him this screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. This is it, rookies. You finally made it to the big leaves. Today's recipe is an advanced level one. Today we'll be making ink pasta. Just boil fresh pasta until al dente. With it. Mix it lightly with inky pasta or inky sauce. Perfecto. Get ready for gourmet chow tonight. They don't even tell you how to get ink inky sauce, but you know what? That's fine. Can you believe it, dear readers? The next issue will be our last. Don't miss it. The jazz is real, guys. Hey, look at that! She says is doing a thousand year door boundary break video. Fuck yeah, I need to watch that later. Sometimes it's tempting to watch some of these videos on stream, but I don't know if that would fly or not. <laughs> Alright, so next up we gotta go to chapter one. Pipe the Pedalberg. Maybe while I'm doing all this nonsense, I could get some recipes. That might be nice. Well, let me think about what I'm missing. Oh, for fuck's sake. I gotta open up- I gotta go to the fucking Mario Wiki again. Okay, so let's think about what we wanna get. So we still need an Electro Pop, that requires Cake Mix, okay. Um... We need to get Inky Sauce, so I might get another Hot Sauce. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, we need to get a Peachy Peach, or a Heal Mango, and combine it with Honey Syrup. Mm -hmm. Um... What else are we missing? We're missing... Jam and jelly candy. That that should be pretty easy to get. 
Um, love pudding. That's the one I want to get. I need a I need a mystic egg for that. I need a peachy peach for a peach tart. Okay. Okay, I should be able to do this. I wonder if I'll find General White here somewhere. Let's ask the locals if they know anything. Oh, if it is, isn't Murphy. Yeah, what's that you say, General White? Uh, General, uh, I I'm sure I see him, but he doesn't seem to be around now. I think he may have possibly said he might head south to a more tropical locale. Cranky, creaky key. Was that it? Yeah, that's it. That might possibly be, perhaps, if it could be it. So, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you can talk to both the mayor or, um, or the Koopa at the gate. Which I think is pretty cool. Huh? What's that, General White dude? Well, he was here before. He said he was taking a trip, and then he left. Wait, hang on, Shaq. He did say something about a deserted island to the south. Just going there, or not going there. So you know what? We'll, we'll treat this general white quest as like an excuse to return to all these places and get like more ingredients, you know? Although, there's a problem with this because I'm running out of inventory already. So I'm going to have to put some stuff away. This is the entire reason that this room was created for this fucking General White quest. Hey, he's the big boss of the whole city kid now. What do you know? What's that you got? Ticket for the X Express? The coconut milk here is just the best. You should try it sometime. Alright, let me store some stuff. Store that. Store that. I don't need two space foods, I'll store one of those. I don't need a Thunder Rage now. Yeah, you know, that should be fine. What happened to that guy, that one guy that was selling stuff? General White, yeah, he was here till a second ago. But he took off right quick, said he was going to a city that floats in the sky or something. Now that is actually a better, um... That is a better translation than the original. Because in the original, he just says, he's, he went to an arena or something. And it, I, I didn't know what the fuck an arena meant. So you know what? I, I applaud them for giving better hints than the original, because that, that hint fucking sucks, like an arena. City in the Sky makes way more sense, honestly. There's not really a whole lot to do in Shitsville. I can maybe get more hot sauce. Actually, that's about all I can really get. I need to also get a hot dog, too. <laughs> you making a comeback? I wouldn't even bother the guy. Rockhawk's invincible now. Is that true? Did they actually make Rockhawk more difficult? Most people get sad when it's cloudy out, but not me. I'm cloudy every day. If they ever make a movie of life, It'll be called the Worry Word of Glitzville. A very good day to you, perchance. Creature with you used to be my running egg. Oh yes, hatch from that incredible egg. I suppose it's for the best that I didn't cook it. Now I interested in a hog of hot dog, still only ten coins apiece. Thank you ever so. Hello, can I just see look? Bottle of our company's soon to be famous hot sauce? Thanks a lot. I believe, I believe, I knew you'd come back, Gonzalez. You came back? Wow, well, man, but even you can't beat the new improved Rockhawk. Did they actually make Rockhawk stronger? I can't tell. 
Hey, what's shaking, champ? Welcome back, dude. Ready to rock the pit again? General White? Oh, you must mean the White Babam, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time. But I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree, or not. So now we can use this as an excuse to get one more um, egg. I mean, I have to backtrack anyways, so you know what? Might as well get all this item backtracking done now. From 100% perspective, this isn't honestly that bad. This is the last time I'll have to fucking do this. Mario likes which person the most. Egg. More scolding. I think this is the only guy that actually tells you. Welcome to the great tree. Eh? General White? Yeah, he's an old bomb with a great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. You know, we might actually do some recipe stuff right now. <laughs> and get this stuff out of the way. We're gonna have to return to the surface anyways after this, so we'll do that. We'll go to the Twilight Town, talk to the guy. I'm pretty sure you can talk to the mayor or one of the guys here. I don't remember. Sometimes they have, like, multiple options. I also need to get a peachy peach here, so it'll be a good time to do that. Why is the savior of our town? It's Mario. Yes, actually, there was a General White around here for a little while. Here's fellow who came here for a bit of rest, but still looked tired all the time. Then one day, he just up and left. My friend, I don't know where. He's mumbling something or other about a cannon. Alright, we learned that General White took off while looking very tired. When I'm tired, I always want to go back home. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> hey, this is my new song. Love that steeple bell and pale moonlight as well. I sure is well. We use the bell at Creepy Steeple as our clock. The bell hasn't rung at all since this whole piggy nightmare ended. Maybe our town will get to hear the sound of that bell again someday. That's what I'm hoping anyway. You know, you can get through anything if you have good memories to cling to. But the problem is, not all memories are good. What do you do about things you want to forget? Can't you dump those somehow? go. Here's another peachy peach. And as far as I know, that's the easiest way to get them. Ah, uh, you, uh, you, you're Mario, our hero. Yahoo for you, Mario. It'd be awesome if someone said that about you, huh? Yeah, that'd be sweet. Hey, you, you must really like this place, huh? No, not really. Below that, well, you must come to see me then, right? Gosh, if that's the case, I don't know how to say this, but you're just not my type. I like how their eyes actually, like, light up when they're in, like, the shade. Really cool detail. Alright, well, I hate to break up, break up the action, but we're gonna have to do some, uh... We're gonna have to do some cooking. Yeah, I know, we're doing more cooking. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, I might as well, since I'm up here, you know. Mm 
Okay, so what can I cook together? Oh yeah, um, the hot dog and the hot sauce apparently makes a new recipe. About to see just how exactly. Here's a new recipe. The hottest dog. A spicy dog made by Zest Heat. Charges you and replenishes 7 HP and FP. Now that's fucking great. Okay, what else can we make? Mmm. I need to get out my Mango Delight real quick. Yeah, let me get that out real quick. Um, I also have a hot sauce in here. There's the Mango Delight. I'm kind of wishing I had that extra storage space. Okay, that should be good enough. Uh, I'm also going to take out a cake mix. A cake mix and what else did I want? I don't know, one of these items. Oh yeah, peachy tart. That's what I wanted it for. Dang, guys, look how close we are to finishing all the recipes. There's six more. Okay, so that's where the hottest dog is. You know what? I'm gonna send this to Zach real quick. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess we'll just kind of fuck around and make some stuff. So we can make at least two more recipes. <clears throat> Mystic Egg and Mango Delight apparently makes a love pudding. I don't know how, but sure is weird. Yep, there it is. One of the worst items, dude. And then we're gonna cook a peachy peach and a cake mix. What was the thing that- oh yeah, I need a honey syrup and a keel mango, that's what I needed. Isn't this the exact same thing as the love pudding? No, this one's electrified, dodgy, or sleepy. Weird. <laughs> yeah, at some point we will also read, um... We'll also read the, um, what you call it? Luigi, Super Luigi books? That might be a post-game thing, honestly. Alright, honey syrup and keel mango apparently makes a fruit parfait. Yep, there we go. Yummy. So now that brings our recipe list up to 55. So we're missing jelly candy and two other items. What the hell? Which ones am I missing? I'm missing the shroom crepe, the jelly candy, and something else. I don't know which one I'm- Oh yeah, the choco cake. That one's gonna be pretty annoying to make anyway. <laughs> um, I can do that though right now, actually. You know, let's just fucking get all the recipe- Well, I can't get every single recipe done right now because I'm broke. I don't have enough money. I can at least get almost all of them. I need to get two cake mixes, then. Wait, no, I need three- I need three cake mixes, actually. Okay, then I guess we're gonna get three cake mixes. I feel like the jelly candy would probably be the better of the two to get right now, so I'll get that real quick. I, mean, I could sell the jelly candy for quite a bit of money anyways. So I could probably sell it 
and then get an, then get my ultra shroom that way. So maybe we will get all the recipes today. I have not bought a gold bar with my own money. Yeah, these are pretty damn expensive. Oh. I'm really, I'm really glad that they, they like say like, hey, you can't get this item now. Pokemon Emerald Net Demo? What the hell is that all about? Weird. What else do I have? I need to get a uh, another hot sauce and a tasty tonic out so I can make inky sauce. As far as I know, that's the easiest way to get um inky sauce. One of the few things you can actually use the um one of the few things you can use for. Okay, we're gonna store more stuff. All right, store. Store the fruit parfait, and I might sell the love pudding. I might sell the peach tart. These are really lame <laughs> items. I might use the love pudding just for jokes. Sell the zest wrap. Sell one of the space foods. Um, that should be good. Withdraw. Alright, uh, let's take out a hot sauce. And... I think that's it. Alright, and then a tasty tonic. Okay, well, thanks for the shooting star, I guess. Looking for a fine... Wait, wait, hang on. Look at missing person. Looking for a squat fellow with a fine mustache. Please call me if you have any information. General White. Oh, wow. I did not know about that. World Mysteries. Some say that there's a huge cannon far outpost known only to bloke of bob -oms. Well, that's, that's a really cool detail, actually. Alright, so let's get our inky sauce. There we go. Okay, there we go. And then I think we can just use cake mix and, and inky sauce to get choco cake. Not sure how that works, but <laughs> whatever, you know. Very weird item. Yeah, there it is. Choco cake. Alright, okay, next up we're gonna cook Jam and jelly and cake mix. Choco cake has to be like one of the worst fucking deals ever. Like you're trading in a 30 FP item for a 15 FP item, 5 HP item. Yeah, there's the jelly candy. And I think we just need the shrimp crap left and then we're done. Yeah, it should be good. do that although I'll probably sell my jelly candy. Let's do that. How much does this jelly candy sand sell for? 100? Yeah, okay. Alright, we're almost done guys. We just need one more cooking item and then we're done, right? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Just gotta get the ultra shroom and then we're done. I mean, this, this might be a short chapter anyways, because, like, I found General White in, like, 45 minutes. So, <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're so close, guys. So, so we have to come down here twice, because I... You know, these Ultra Shrooms are expensive, man. There we go. Do, 
Do -do -do -do. You know what? Let's talk to Dazzle, too. We can buy Peekaboo now. We can buy Peekaboo, and we can buy a Happy Heart Pea. So that means there are three more star pieces left in this game. And I think they're all on the moon and the x not base. Oh, dude, we get to hear the fucking x not Fortress theme song today. That's gonna be so hype. I can't wait for that. And I take it there's no other troubles left, right? Let me just make sure. Uh, oh yeah. I forgot to finish the, the- I forgot to finish that trouble, actually. Okay, I'll do that in a sec. No, no, you know what? No, let's do it- let's do it right now, actually. Before I forget. And... I was in the middle of that trouble, and I just said, nah, fuck it, I'll do it- I'll do it later. Oh yeah, because- because I fought Prince Smush, and then I just stopped the recording, that's why. Okay. Well, let's go give that to her, then. I think- oh yeah, you get the Platinum card for that. <laughs> gotta stop singing along, man. I, I can't help it. It's too, <laughs> it's too fun. Actually, I just thought of some. Actually, I think I already talked about this, but whatever. Well, I'll talk about it in a sec. So you accepted my request for air aid with my little trouble, you delightful man, you. I just I decided I very much want to read a magazine I like Jolene. But she lives in Glitzville, and that's very far from here, as you know. Could you go get it for me, you respectful wizard, you? Julie should be in her promoter's office at Glitz Pit. Thanks, you're fabulous, dear. There you go. Yes, this is the magazine I let Jolene, alright. You're a true hero, thank you. Here's my thanks to you. Platinum card. This magazine is very popular among certain celebrities. Everyone who's anyone. Everyone who is anyone has been spotted in a cafe with it under one arm. Okay, so we're done all of ch all the troubles now, up till chapter six anyway. Fucking jazz goes crazy. <laughs> I'd say it fits pretty- I'd say it fits, fits Posley Heights pretty well, honestly. Anyways, let's see if we make that shroom crap and clear up all the recipes in the game. Honestly, I don't know how long it took me to do every recipe, but I think it probably took like a couple hours. Two to three hours, maybe. Which is honestly faster than it went in the original game. <laughs> So, here we go. I mean, this should make a shroom crap anyway. That's what the wiki said. Let me just check. Okay, yeah, Ultra Shroom and Cake Mix. There it is. I don't think you get anything for doing all the recipes, though. There you go, guys. We have every recipe in the game. Every single one. Pretty cool stuff right there. And we're just missing ten badges. We're gonna get two of them this chapter, I know that. And the rest, I think, are in the pit. <laughs> yeah. So, that's that. Hey man, I gotta I got sell some stuff to you. Like, um... Uh... I don't need... I don't need Happy Heart Pete. <laughs> there you go. 
Like, do Flower say or Peace? Flower say or Peace is not bad, honestly. Nah. I don't need the Fem Plus P. I don't remember when I got that badge. Oh, don't need that, obviously. If you plus piece just shitty badge, man. <laughs> Alright, there we go. All good. What, what other badges could I buy? Like, what would even be worth getting here? We got two super appeals. Make sure you're doing P. Happy flower. Pretty lucky P. Defend plus P. Damage dodge P. Another damage dodge. These badges are shit, man. There's there's nothing good here. So that's one thing I have. I don't have to worry about now. I have every recipe in the game done. I have all of. Oh, congrats! You cooking. You cooking connoisseur. Yeah, I actually got congratulated for it. Congratulations, you've learned all of Zesty's recipes. Her menu is now complete, so all of your your meals can be mighty tasty and mighty mighty too. As proof of your efforts, we've sent you a special award, the Cooking Trophy. Check your useful items to admire it yourself or show it off to friends. You've earned the right to brag. Yo, you actually get something! You actually get a bragging item, the Cooking Trophy. Let's fucking go. And I also have three Super Luigi books. I also have the Platinum card, the Gold card, the Silver card, and the Special card. Yo, let's go. I have the Cooking Trophy now. Holy shit. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna show that <laughs> to people. <laughs> oh yeah, Zappy, you're back. I uh, I just did every single recipe in the game, and I got a special trophy for it. And uh, Zach's game keeps crashing, which fucking sucks. <laughs> it's too bad that his game keeps crashing though. He might have to, he might have to port over his save file. Yeah, so that's a pretty neat fucking reward. You actually get you actually get something for um, doing every recipe in this game, which is amazing because he didn't get that in the original. So <laughs> that's a good way to you know boon completionists like me. Well, Elena and General White took off, looking very tired. You. This is the so-called Gun Greg Gonzalez. Ah, oh, brother. Well, it's me, your worst nightmare, the new and improved Rockhawk. Don't think I forgot you, punk. I'm reborn, you coward. My training regimen will blow your mind. I'm on the fast bat track back at the top, and ain't nobody gonna get in my way, Rock, brother. And still, on rainy days, I feel the bruises your hammer of shame left on this bod. And I feel the rage again, brother. If you ever show your face in the ring again, I'll beat you so bad your mom won't even recognize you. Remember the rock, number one rock hawk, brother. <laughs> See, nice of, nice of him to uh, send emails to me. Nope, it's off. Apparently Zach's stuck on chapter four. That sucks, doo-doo. Once you beat the game, can you fight every boss afterwards? Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> because I don't know everything about this remake yet. That's not something that was in the original. But, hey, maybe they added something like that. Look at the fire outpost. Uh, I'm guessing you guys are the same. Cute, cute AF Russian bombs. Whoever at Intelligent Systems decided to come up with Russian ball bombs that day is fucking genius. Oh, you have a mission to use cannon. You must. You mean you met up with Gold Bob? All that remains is General White. What? You cannot find General White? Hmm. Well, where did he go? This makes trouble for us. We definitely need him. Otherwise, we cannot even operate that thing. So, what to do? Oh, 
Oh boy, here we go. He seems to be asleep. Wake him up. He's still asleep. Try again. He's still sound asleep. Try again. He's definitely still asleep. Try again. He's still sawing logs. Try again. He couldn't be more asleep. Try again. He's getting, like, more crumpled. <laughs> He's counting sheep. Try again. He woke. Nah, still asleep. Try again. S sleepy like a stash of baby. Try again. He's not even budging. Try again. He's still snoring away. Try one more time. <laughs> now who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep. As it's all hopeless. Huh? That, that mustache. That hat. And that hammer even. <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh! Why? Well, to bring Big Bob back online. I'd lost my life's work, my very reason to live. This man sleep. I found myself at a wit's end, and then the rogue poor fortune teller told me. Also, look at listen to this fucking bombastic music. Seek the man with the M on his hat, the one with the hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dreams. Or something like that. Hut, you need to use cannon to help you save the entire world. Hip hip hurrah! Hut fortune teller was right! So what are we waiting for? I shall get Big Bob ready, so go tell the mayor. Now get moving. Hut, hut. Hooray. The old boy should be told it was us who was looking for him. What? General Light is back? Then Big Bob's grand revival cannot be far behind. I could just explode with the light. No, let us shoot you guys to moon. Oh. We've done it all, boy. Now you follow me. Hurry on now, it's this way. Alright, let's go. Let's keep, let's keep doing the gritty. Alright guys, well, we're going to the moon, so... Once we go to the moon, we're not coming back for a while. Hopefully I'm prepared. I should take up more items before I leave. Oh, it's time to blast out to the moon. Are you ready? Just make sure you're prepared for talking to the mayor. Yeah, yeah, I need I need some more items. I'll take, like, a few more out. I want to have some spare inventory for shit I find in the x not base, but... Let's take a few things out. Like, um... We'll take out... Let's take out the spicy pasta, the hottest dog. And... The, um... The space food for shits and giggles. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have the trial stew in my inventory still? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Actually, I believe you can tattle General White, too. That's General White the bob -um. I guess white bob are pretty rare. He has a cool mustache, too. He might even give your lip fuzz a run for its money. Preparations are complete. Big Bob is fired already. Hut, let's do this. No you stand here. Oh, no! We're, we're gonna get to hear the fucking awesome shooting music. General Light, is Big Bob ready? Huh, leave it to me. Now, man, you know the drill. Load Big Bob. Now, position, positions, everyone. Yes, sir. He has the key. Ooh, look at how awesome this place looks. Bring guidance system online. Online, sir. Online, sir. 
System check. System check. All clear. Prepare Big Bob's detonation sequence. Open out the hatch. Opening hatch, sir. Opening hatch, sir. Open inner shutters. Opening shutters, sir. Opening shutters, sir. <laughs> Lift Big Bob in the position. Lifting, sir. Lifting, sir. Yeah, this is, one of the, this is another one of the most epic parts of the game. Look at that fucking big lad. Dude, I love the searchlights. That's such an amazing detail. Acquire target, the moon. Direction, and elevation, range. Wind speed, correct direction, correct elevation. Target locked, now open the clay, the chamber hatch. Now, everyone in. Woo, all the bombs. It's down here, boom, stop pushing me, bazoom. Close chamber hatch. Yeah, my foot, boom, it's tight in here. I'm getting nervous. Stop bringing my neck. Conditions all green. Stand by. Okay. It is time. Big Bob Cannon. Fire! Oh! Woo! The frame rate slowed down. I did. I noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Mario. I mean, there's that's a lot of bombs on screen, dude. Imagine how it would be on the GameCube. <laughs> the fucking reverb Mario voice. Oh. Uh, he actually got his head stuck in the floor. Wow, that was killer. I totally never would have guessed I'd get to do that. Let's look on the moon. Well, so yeah, we're here on the moon. So let's get going, Mario. Let's find that last crystal star and save the princess. The only problem is the moon is slow as balls. It would have frozen the game. Well, here's what the, here's what the, um, also, I'm gonna need Quake Hammer. I, need, I don't have that on right now, do I? I have Fire Drive on, though. Well, here's how, here's how the GameCube version handles things. When there's, like, a fuck ton of, like, a, like, NPCs on screen, they just render all the NPCs at, like, I don't know, like, 100p, you know? It's, like, super low-quality sprites. That's how they do it. We're on the moon, awesome! The moon I always look up at, can you believe it? I mean, I heard they put a Goomba on the moon, but who knows we'd get, we'd get here. Boy, nothing is impossible in your adventures, Mario. You're the coolest! I guess the moon's just rocks, rocks, and more rocks. Let's look for clues about the princess or the crystal star. Yeah, and there's a lot of items on the moon. I don't actually remember if there's anything on the moon. The moon has, a, has some star pieces. <laughs> wow! Mario, I love how his voice actually slowed down. That's cool. Alright, we're gonna need Goombella so I can tell these moon clefts. These fucking moon clefts. What the fuck? We're doing a rave party now.
That's a moon clap. It's your basic clap living on the moon. Ben's high as usual, and fire attacks won't work against it. Damn, listen to this shit. Fucking dance, dance ray of battle theme. You can turn it over with an explosion though, as the fence goes down to zero. Dang, I just need one more attack power to instantly kill these guys. We got another level up. Why am I hearing Bowser? Oh, that's my funny attack effects badge. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah, I have my attack effects badges make my my hammer sound like Bowser. Okay, so if we take off, um, actually, I don't have any extra power badges. I have two power pluses on already. I guess I can put on the fan plus for now. We're gonna have to 100% the moon then, because I don't know where all the star pieces are in this area. Oh, oh no. Thanks, Merly. And also, this is a good way to get star points. A little Mario flips you off every time he wins a battle. Yeah, look at all the moon me. This definitely sound. This moon music definitely sounds better than the original. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, here's the problem though. Oh wow, there's an Ultra Shroom in there? I'll definitely take that. Alright, you know, let's use some items so I don't feel bad. I did get a stopwatch, so let's use it. Yeah, take that. Oops, I didn't get the action man. Yeah, I do 12 damage with every jump, that's pretty crazy. Yeah! Anything else on the moon that I should know about? I mean, okay, well, let me get that coin first. So Miss Mouse stops freaking out. I don't know if there's any star piece panels on the moon, but there's definitely stuff. And Mario's gonna keep doing the fucking gritty every time. I mean, I guess, yeah, there's that Volt Shrimp. Nothing here. Let me just make sure there's nothing in the previous room, too. The moon is a pretty long area, so... Yeah. Okay, nothing here. Let's see what Gabelle has to say about this area. Well, I guess they're pretty much just rocks on the moon. I guess I knew that, but it's still kind of disappointing. Looks lousy, boring moon. I think you can use Yoshi to speed this up a bit. 
Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love those clefts. Yeet. Maple syrup there. Uh, let's use that maple syrup then. I mean, I want to try and, you know, get everything on the moon so I don't have to come back here ever again. Oof. Oof. Oh! One frame super guard. Bonk. Definitely gonna get a lot of star points this way, that's for sure. Uh, anything else in this area? Okay, yeah, that's it. I don't remember how many areas there are in the moon. <laughs> mm. Wait, let me hear that again. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. We got the Zed Yucks now. Alright, time to tattle. That's Zed Yucks. It's a genetic improvement on the original on the original Yucks. Multiple mini Zediox will appear to protect the main unit, as you'd expect. Sometimes they also restore HP to the main unit, which really burns me up. If it doesn't have much HP, those, those barriers often protect you from attacks. Dang. Alright, mini Zediox. One of the most annoying titles we get. That's a mini Zediox. It lives to protect the Zediox. There could be as many as four. It seems like they want to attack directly. However, if you don't clear these guys out, you'll never be able to attack the Zediox. Using a multiple strike attack and take them all out at once is a good, totally good idea. I mean, I respect them for protecting their whatever, but they get no mercy. I can get super guards on the Yuxes in the original, but again, with unsimplifiers, it's definitely a lot harder. <laughs> Pretty sure there's only like one star piece on the moon. But, the question is, where is it? That's a pal block. And I guess I'll pick up the pal block. But I can't carry anything else. Um, I need to throw the pal block away. There are still moon clefts on here, we gotta be careful then. Uh, there's one over here. Oh! There's a power punch! Man, I, I can't... I can't carry anything. Oh, I don't need this volt shroom. Do the items despawn after you throw them? Okay, good, they do. I need to make sure there's nothing in this area. Come on, despawn already. One. Oh, there's something here. Where? Where the fuck? Is there a panel here? Something more up? Is 
There's something here. Oh! Is that the only star piece on the moon? Okay. I mean, you know what? Just for shits and giggles, we might have a look at the other the other areas. Oh, and I want to tile this area, too. That building back there is my suspicion, if you ask me. Let's search for a way to get over there. I'll assist. There's a weird-looking building off in the distance. Why would that be here? There are more areas over here. You see the moon class that live up here? You think they live on green cheese, Mario? You know, I'm kidding, right? I'm not that much of a cheese ball, get it? I'm still upset that there are only rocks here. But she just wants there to be cheese. I'm curious if there's, like, any good items up here, you know? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, well, I guess I can use my quake now. I'm just curious what other uh, items are on the moon, you know? Like, there might be some good stuff here. Th yeah, get blown up, bitch. These guys are five defense, by the way. <laughs> Which is a crazy amount. Normally that's the highest defense, but Prince Mush now has the highest defense out of any enemy in the game. Maple syrup. It's not really something I want, though. And there's literally nothing in that rock. Okay. Hey, yo, there's fucking mo moon knee floating in the air. Is that a bug? <laughs> that might be a bug. Hey, Mario, did you see that? I saw a comet or something. It was all like, shwee. What should I try and make three wishes, do you think? Wish for... Heh, <laughs> that's top secret. Big boy rock. Look at all the moon clefts on here, though. Crazy, huh? Ooh, there's a courage shell. Ooh. Ooh. And then I think this might be the starting point. Yeah, here is the starting point of the moon. So I think, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I believe the moon is like seven screens that just wrap around over and over again. Pretty much all it is. Yeah, I love this moon music more than the original. I felt like the original was kind of annoying sounding. Well, you know what? I'll let you guys listen to it so you can see what I mean. Oh, strangely, it seems more repetitive. Instantly killed with an Ultra Hammer. Okay, well, anyway. It kind of has, like, a, like, that really high-pitched, like, hissing noise that I... Just don't really like. I never really liked that. This one's actually sounds more mysterious and cool. Ooh. Listen to this. Rather suspicious building, what'd you say, old boy? 
Do be careful, eh? Huh? It even shows up on the map. It doesn't even tell you like what this area is. Who knew there'd be such a weird building on the moon? It's almost unbelievable, actually. At least it's got a big glass dome to keep all the air from leaking out. What's that? Yeah, now you mentioned, I guess we are okay out there with no air to breathe. Hmm. Yeah, I'd rather not think about that too much, I guess. Let's change the subject. What do you think this building's for? Let's keep moving for now. Whoop. Oh! Who's that, dude? Whoa, that's Mario! So let's get him? Yeah, let's get him, dude! Can't flee this fight. Alright, here we go. Elite x Knot. That's an Elite x Knot. This guy is the creme de la creme of the x Knots. Healing his regular attacks as well as boosting his power or size. Elite x are tough, but you just have to smack away until they go down. Well, I can kill one of them. Bonk. Bit overkill, but whatever. Maybe I can get the super guard? Fuck. Oh, no super guard for me, I guess. I'm almost done with this game, I know, right? Well, I mean, there's two more chapters, but yeah. I mean, there's this, the rest of this chapter, and then chapter eight. Ugh! Mario, these excellent dweebs are here. That's totally it. The Princess Peach must be here, don't you think? And the Crystal Star must be here, too. We gotta find it, Mario. Ooh. Jam. Jam alert. I mean, this is, this is one of my favorite songs in the game, so it's, it's nice to hear it remixed. This is the x not Fortress. This seems like a way to get in and out. The stairs are really pretty out here. Or, what well, you can see them through, the, through these fortress windows, anyway. Exxon Fortress, the fortress of the dubious Exxonauts and their leader, Grotus. The best place in the world for stargazing, but also a place pocked with craters, large and small. In contrast to the world where Mario and his friends live, it's very difficult to reverse. A village of Balaam is in a mountainous region that is snowbound year-round. It's a place so cold it'll freeze your breath, but it has a heartwarming shop and cozy end. A layer of freshly fallen snow covers this path, at least the far outpost. Love this fucking music, dude. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm gonna level up after this, though, so I won't get my danger strats. Well, unfortunately, I restore my health, but fortunately, I get more BP. Fuck you! <laughs> Mario flipping you off. 45 BP, that's crazy. Alright, what could I even put on? Fire drive would be a good idea. Yeah, yeah, let's put on fire drive. Ooh, look at this fucking room. This room looks like it was meant to store something. It's booby trapped, I think. Pulling panels, can you memorize the path? If you need to clear your head, try exiting and re-entering. Ooh, I love this. This looks fancy as hell.
Elevator key blue. Another Ultra Shroom. Damn. I have way too many of these things. Hmm. What can I even get rid of for this? Alright, Ultra Shroom, I'm gonna have to toss you. Next battle, I'm gonna use my space food, and I wanna try it out, because space food gives you that super rare status effect. This is a fortress corridor. It's an elevator that connects to lower floors. I guess this fortress extends pretty much far beneath the surface of the moon, huh? I mean, I hate Grotus, but I gotta give him props for a pretty cool evil hideout. We can use the key we, we, we got to operate the elevator. Let's try checking a different level. We go. Here's your destination. Sub level one. I Man, this game loves the word sub level. <laughs> I swear, this game uses lower sub level like every chance it gets. Hey, you know what? Let's try out the space food. I want to see the status hasn't changed thing. What? It didn't even work. The status didn't even fucking work, bro. What was the point of the space food? Ow. The music is as ass-kicking as I thought it would be. Alright, so here's where we get feeling fine. This looks like a storage room for valuables. The crane can grab stuff up there. It should work fine if you, have, if you set a gear in place and press those buttons in order. I'm sure you can handle it. It's not exactly moon rocket science here. But I want to get up there now! You'll have to come back here later. Once we get the gear. Bonk. Hey, that guy has a HP plus. Let's steal it. Eat. That's mine now, bitch. Does his HP actually lower to 4 now? Yeah, super guard! Oh. Damn it. Yeah, his HP actually did lower in real time. That's pretty nice. Boom. Pretty fucking cool. Oh, a stopwatch now, huh? Please enter access code. Okay, if I remember what the passcode is, I think it's 013026. I might be misremembering, though. Hmm. I actually don't remember what they. I don't actually remember what the code is. Hmm. You know, well, I mean, we're gonna find it anyways. Every now and then, I actually do remember what the fucking passcode is. <laughs> they have it written down, it'll be fine. It might be 013016 or something. Holy, oh, got a save block down here. Cool. This is a fortress corridor, an elevator connected to the lower floors. I guess the sword just gets pretty far beneath the surface of the moon, huh? I mean, I hate Grotus, but... Oh, yeah, that's the same. We need an access code. Maybe someone wrote it down somewhere. Let's be explore beyond level sub level 1. Okay, well, that's the, um... That's the gear. No, I'm not finishing the game but today. What makes you think that? Actually, I might. Maybe not right now, though, because I... 
have to play with my girlfriend later. I might finish it at, like, midnight or something. Oh yeah, right, I gotta title this guy. That's an excellent PhD. Guys like this invent all the annoying things we fight. He likes to throw breakers of beakers of chemicals. The can also do all kinds of stuff, like making things huge and burning people. He may also use potions to heal himself or make himself impossible to hit. Excellent PhDs are really annoying, so take them out before they boost themselves. Oh. He gave himself the dodgy effect. <laughs> Try and dodge this then. Fuck, he dodged it. This is gonna be really annoying, actually. You know what, Courage Mail, go! Yeah! Fuck, it didn't do anything. Oh, well, you hit Goombella, though, do you? This is gonna be really- this guy's gonna be really fucking annoying to hit, though. <laughs> because there's fog and he's dodgy. Oh no, I'm burned! Okay, well now he's dead. The dodge rate on that guy must have been pretty crazy. I mean, I am in Chapter 7, and it's almost finished. Like, we're halfway through Chapter 7 already. Plus, the music in here is... Kick serious ass. Oh, there's this room. He. Nope, you're not gonna get me. This looks like elaborate genetic experimentation. Maybe yucks were made here. I guess they must have had some pretty advanced technology if they can do stuff like that. Oh, yeah, so there is a, um. There's a star piece over here. Oop. Gonna finish the game in three days. I mean, there's also post games, so I won't finish. I'll, I'll make. I beat the main game tonight, maybe. Anyways, here's the gear. Cog. Oh my God, Cog. Donkey Cog. <laughs> It's a changing room. I guess even Exxons have to change out of their uniforms. What do you think they look like under those suits? I'm not gonna think about it. There's a ventilation duct in the ceiling at one end. That's not good for privacy. How to turn on the power. Left, right, middle. Do not forget. Today's code is... Z oh, 014029. Oh, that was close. I thought it was 013026. That's a lot of guys. Hmm. It's better just use Rally Link, honestly. Let's use a, um... I don't actually have a lot of healing items. I guess we'll use the Choco Cake. Yeah, I only have three real healing items. Aw, oh, fuck, I'm not in danger anymore. Shit. What was in here again? 
Turn it, turn it, turn it. Oh, this is the, um, yeah, it's that room. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is the, um... Oh yeah, this is Sir Grotus' room. This place is a bit overdone, huh? It just screams, hey, I'm an evil mastermind. I wonder if poor Princess Peach got dragged in here before. Can you find the access code? Once we have it, let's use the terminal in cell level 1. Will that go in, like, my notes or something? No. <laughs> We're gonna fight the cross yucks in a sec. Ooh, look at this. Were the key cards, like, colored coded? Security key heart. Card key that helps. Are they, are they, ba are they based on the fucking, um, like, solitaire cards now? That's a pretty cool idea, if so. What's this room for, huh? Is it some kind of office for the x not boss, or what? Boy, and what's with these tanks full of nibbles? Keepers, that creeps me out. Alright, let's fight nibbles. He's gonna be a tough, or not nibbles. Let's fight cross yucks. This guy's gonna be a bitch to take down. But he does, he did overworld damage to me. That's a cross yucks. I heard this is right as cross yucks, not as X yucks. Anyway, this is a new yucks designed to protect extra important areas. They were designed to be unbeatable. They're not. It can produce too many yucks, X cross yucks at once. And it has an excellent success rate of immobilizing opponents. We gotta do something about that if we're gonna win. Yeah, so I think this would be a good time to use, um, Sweet Treat. Whoa! I mean, this fucker does a fuck ton of damage anyway. Oh, god damn it. I didn't see the fucking poison shroom, mate. Actually, maybe I'll just heal up to three. I'll get three health back. Then, I, then I'll be good. I'll be in perfect danger. There we go. That should be good. All right, mini cross yucks. That's a mini cross yucks. It lays to protect the cross yucks. Up to four can guard the cross yucks. Seems like they won't attack directly. However, you can't attack the main unit until you clear these annoying pests out. So you use multiple strike attacks to take them all out at once. Yep. So we're gonna do just that. And I forgot to put on multi oh, multi bounce. God, I'm so stupid. I think this should be good. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's use Earth Tremor again. I do find it interesting they replace these with um A presses instead of just stars. I love what makes like a eh. Like a little dink sound. Wow, wow, wow. There you go. Bye. That guy felt like a mini boss, honestly. But you know what? Maybe that's not a bad thing. Boop, boop, boop. Augur's ass music, man. Alright, let's save after that. Never went over here yet. P. 
keep the workspace orderly. I have some stuff to do, so I'm not coming into work tomorrow, and that's that. Now let's do a seminar topic, galloping toward an era of risk-free potions. New seminar topic, um, galloping towards an era of risk-free potions. Participation is not voluntary. Bro, I want to read this, dude. So that guy does, he does overworld damage. That's interesting. I didn't know enemies could do that. I mean, yeah, that's a pretty easy way to get into danger quickly. So that, because in the original, that would have first struck me, but that's not the case anymore. It just does overworld damage now. When leaving the lab, always do your all point inspection in the loudest voice possible. It's gross as lab. He must have had re his research was working on various potions here. I don't think she touched any of this stuff, though. One wrong move and kaboom. Know what I mean? <laughs> Goombella being over the top. Yeet. Yeet. Oh, yeah, this one. Oh, shit. I misremembered. I misremembered. I think it's a little something like, uh... Like this. There we go. Security key diamond. Yeah, they are based on the solid terror suites. Or, I think it's the suit of cards. This room looks like it was meant to store something, but it's booby trapped, I think. You wanna have the correct pad, it looks like you'll take damage, don't you think? Oh, I forgot there's a fucking sleepy sheep in this room. Hey, what's up, man? He, he, throws, he throws more potions. Wow, he throws them really far. Holy fuck. I was expecting that. Right back to solo level one. Alright, it was left, right, middle. Oh, but I need I need the cog in there first. I love the I love the animation of Mario pressing the buttons. Wee wee. Here's the crane. He's gonna keep telling me about that. The crane will move left for as long as you hold down Y. Crane will move backwards for as long as you hold down X. Use the crane to get the stuff you want. Give me the star piece. Yeah, crane game! Bunny! Oh fuck, I didn't get it. They did the fucking fat guy pose. Yeah, I need to see that. I need to see that shit again. Give me that. Fuck you! Give me that. Give me that feeling fine. No! <laughs> I love that sprite of Mario shrugging. It's so funny. Come oh, on, get me feeling fine, please. 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 I need it. Be funny like the boonie? Hold on, give me a sec, Jose. There you go.
Eric. The crane is a lot more picky in this game. Oops, I don't think I got it. <laughs> Mario doing the shrug is so funny. Come on, give me feeling fine, please. Please, please, Mario, please. Okay, there we go. I sent Maid Bunny. Wait, hang on, give me a sec. Yeah, man, this this music kicks ass, dude. Stop. I'm glad you don't have to interact with it multiple times now. Feeling fine, P. Feeling fine. And a star piece. I forget if there's anything else in here. Oh no, I 100 percent an excellent fortress already. I think that's every star piece in the game now. I think so. Yeah. I got the three that I needed. So now our badge list, we have 78 out of 86. So we're missing all or nothing. P of day down P. Lucky day. One of these is return postage. I think this is zap tap. Uh, return postage. Uh, pity flower. And bump attack. And what was the other one? I don't remember what the other badges were. I remember it like you get sleepy stomp fire drive zap tap pity flower strange sack two double dips bump attack lucky day i think that's what you get and you get return postage and screw those coins i don't need them oh uh, if i really wanted 100 percent the game maybe i should go back for those coins Okay, so the code is actually 014029. I almost had it. <laughs> I just misremembered. Wait, no. It's just not 029. It's, it's not 019. It's 029. There you go. There we go. Yeah, be foodie like the boonie. What's this room for, huh? I feel like I've seen that face somewhere before. Oh no, well, forget about it, I guess. Finn's Peach and the Crystal Star should be in this building somewhere. Let's check every corner. Who are you, Lava? You came here to get the elevator key so you would access the computer room? Yeah, I thought so. Well, then you're gonna have to beat me to get it. And if you lose, your life is mine. You hear me? Mine. So what do you say? Challenge this jump. <laughs> You're mine now. Alright, here we go. Yeah, game show time. And here we go, folks. The main event. The 66th trivia quiz off. Yay! If you get five correct answers to the following questions, then you win, win, win. But if you get just three wrong answers, you're toast. You don't want to be toast, folks. Well, what are we waiting for, huh? Here we go. Question number one. Exactly what's hidden here? Um... Elevator key. Elevator key. Are you sure about that? Fuck you. Yeah, you're correct, crud. But that was an easy one. You will do so well in the next one, I guarantee that. Here we go, sucker. Now, question number two. What's the name of the girl in Pedalberg who's waiting patiently for Coops' return? Uh, Flavio. Oh, fuck. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. You're dumber than dumb. 
Remember, three strikes and you're out, loser. <laughs> next, here's the next one. Now question three. Goomba, lava, bubble, buzzy, beetle, and poop. How many feet do they have total? Man, why do you, why do you have an obsession with feet? Defeat. <laughs> they kept that one in, I'm glad. That was an easy one. You won't do well in the next one, I guarantee that. Here we go, sucker. We're on the question four. It's elementary for non-idiots. Where's the one, the only diamond star? Hooktail's belly. You sure about that? Uh, you're correct, crud. That was an easy one. Here we go, sucker. And now question five. What was the name of the very first champion in a glitz pit? <laughs> Prince Matthew. Prince Mush. You sure about that? You're, uh, you're correct, you jerk. You are going four correct. You're kidding me. Well, if I am gonna toss an extra hard one your way, you have me now, sucker. Now for question six. What did Francesca, Frankie, and Rogue Pro lose on Key Log Key? Uh, bling. Bling. You are sure about that? Fuck! Oh, you're so very foolish. So wrong it hurts me. One more slip and you're done for it, Junior Nerd. Just one more. <laughs> Here we go. Here's our last question. What number question is this? Uh, question seven. Question seven? You sure about that? Oh, oh, correct. That's five quirk questions. Crud, you win. Yeah, I did it. I'm so mad right now. I can hardly see straight. I lose. I lose. Fine, but I really hate you. Take this, you bum. He called you a bum. Well, either way, if you lose that quiz, you fight two cross chucks. It's not the most exciting thing ever. But it is kind of a tough battle. You got an elevator key red. Yay! Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to sub level four because there's nothing down there, and I want to show off something funny. All right, we gotta go down to sub level two to actually use it. Where is that elevator at anyway? Is it like over here? Here we go. Please insert the elevator key. Yeah! Alright, let's go sub level 4 first. The thing I find cool about sub level 4 is you don't actually definitely have to come here yet. Remember correctly, we can't go in here. Door's locked. Beep, beep. Prince Peach and the Crystal Star should be in this building somewhere. I wonder what this room's for. There are beds and lockers, but we can't nap here. There's nothing else, really. The weird thing is it kind of smells nice in here, huh? Why do you think that is? in these lockers. Well, you can even open the locker to begin with. Ooh! Someone's taking a shower in here. <laughs> I 
Okay, that was really funny. Holy shit, he has a PFD down. I want that. When new emotes? I don't know. Oh fuck, I messed up. I messed up, guys. Uh oh. We really gotta we really gotta steal that now. Give me that. I need that. There we go. Give me that. PFD down. Hell yeah, more attack power for me. Yeah. Woo! Dude, I got I got more power. Let's go. Well, that was absolutely worth coming here in, in here for. Oh, he had the security key. He had a security key now? There, there is actually a reason to come down here after all. Get a club. Wait, are there four security keys now? That'd be that's interesting, if so. Um You know what? I haven't checked my uh let's check out the tile log. So you actually have to come down here now. Interesting. Um where do I want to start? Sorry, I just had to sneeze. Uh frost piranha. A prana plant with ice powers that's weak against fire, absorbs ice attacks, and his icy breath attack can sometimes freeze you. Rough Puff's chilly brother. It'll sometimes freeze you with cold breath. It'll absorb also ice attacks, so avoid using those. We have Moon Cleft. A cleft living on the moon. Its defense is so high, but if you turn it over in the explosion, its defense goes to zero. So we have, um, x PhD. An x that throws chemicals. Research is ongoing of all the effects of the chemicals they throw. Elite x naught the pinnacle of the x naught troops. The soldier tackles and throw- This soldier ta the tackles and throws potions. Elite x naughts may be enhanced with nutrients developed by x naught PhDs. They throw potions? I don't remember them being able to do that. Zed Yucks. A genetic improvement on the original Yucks. Mini Zed Yucks often appear to restore HP or protect the main unit from damage. The protector of the Zed Yucks. They can be there can be as many as four. They all must be defeated to make the Zed Yucks vulnerable. Frost Yucks. A new Yucks designed to protect important areas. His attacks will sometimes immobilize you. A protector of the Cross Yucks. You can't attack the main until unit until you clear these things out. Yeah, so. I like how Lord Chrome has as much attack and HP as Magnus. Kinda crazy. Yeah, so there's two entries for Dupless, if I remember correctly. We have 97 out of 134 titles. So you actually do have to come in here now. Hang on, let me, uh... Let me title this room. This is a shower room? I guess every evil base needs a ultimate doom needs one. Just because you're evil doesn't mean you enjoy body odor, you know what I mean? I'm not seeing any clues to help us find Peach or Crystal Star, so let's look elsewhere. So let's go to sub level 3 now. So are we actually gonna get four key cards now? I think that's a good change, if that's the case. Um, yeah, because we have three of them, so this is gonna be, um... What is the missing- what are, which one are we missing? The spade? Heh, <laughs> gotcha. Well, here's this annoying ass room. Well, at least they don't have the- at least it's not the Japanese version. This room looks like it was meant to store something. It's booby trapped, I think.
There we go. The Goomba, it keeps getting fucked up. There we go, spade. Interesting though, they have four key cards instead of three now, and they're based off the suits of cards. Cool change. Bonk. Yeah, you guys are no match for me now. Yeah, there's there's four things now. Players are at the security card key. You think the hearts? You think the heart would be red? But I guess not. Well, because if this is going if this is going based off Paper Mario logic, the spade would be blue, the heart would be pink, the club would be green, and the diamond would be orange or something like that. No, the diamond would be yellow. Yeah, pretty sure that's how it works. Whatever. I guess they wanted to be fun and unique. Ooh, Princess Peach might be behind that door. There are four terminals here. Is this part of a looking locking mechanism of this door? There must be something pretty important behind this door to have such security. Anyways, here's the iconic room. Deep. I guess I'll get a level up then before I go fight Crump. We got 20 star points. I mean, that's a lot of damage. Bong. Fuck you. Alright, let's get more BP. <laughs> BP, that's crazy. I find this- well, this room is iconic because this room is in a ROM hack called Paper Mario 64 TTYD. Or just TTYD 64. And this is one of the rooms that's in that game. Because the thing about TTYD 64 is they picked, a, they picked one room from each chapter to throw into the game randomly as like an easter egg, and this is one of the rooms they picked. Oh, dude, I saw a star. I saw the star. This really is a big Mario RPG reference. That conveyor fuller is odd. Can we reach it somehow? Maybe we can slip through a gap. Can we get through if we use the moving floor to our advantage? I think I can help with that. This is the x Factory. I think they make all kinds of stuff here. It's pretty complicated with the crane and the pipe and all those gears. Maybe we should just take this room one bit at a time, don't you think? I have max inventory space. I probably don't need the stopwatch or the HP drain, one of those two. But then again, do I really need this many Ultra Shrooms? Are the Ultra Shrooms even up there still? We must be getting close to the print terrace of the Crystal Star. Hurry, Mario, hurry! That Ultra Shroom's still up there? Yep, it is. Huh. Why does it look like there's something down there? There's something here. It almost feels like there's there should be a hidden block here, you know what I mean? I guess not, though. <laughs> and again... Miss Mao is gonna fucking act up because of the, you know, just because there's a bunch of bullshit here. Just gonna keep jamming out. All right. Here's one of my least favorite parts of this chapter, is this platforming segment. Either goes really well or really shittily. Maybe they made it easier to control in this version? I don't know.
You kinda gotta do a bit of waiting, you know? There's another, there's a second Ultra Shroom up there. Why would you need more Ultra Shrooms? Well, I guess I'm throwing away a stopwatch then. Or the Sleepy Sheep. I don't need the Sleepy Sheep. I'm gonna drop down here first. There we go. Less trips up there, the better. I like that they pan the camera out, though, here. That's pretty cool of them. Wait, there's a second pipe over here? Actually, you know what? Maybe this guy can get me in danger. Thank you. Oh. This is not where I want to be. Guess we are gonna have to do this after all. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like is you have to do this thing. You have to do this platforming bit twice. And I'm pretty sure there's no way around that. You have to just you just have to do it again. Come on, bring me up there in time. Whoop. I always liked this platforming bit, though. It's always fun. Pretty nice of them to put a save point up here, too. So I'm pretty sure they put the save block on the lower level instead of up here where, you know, they really should put it. <laughs> Ooh, and now the music is gone. Alright, let's put on PFD down, obviously. Um, we're gonna get rid of Quake and Fire Drive, I think. Build it P might be nice, so I'll put that on. Um, I'll put on... Multi bounce and uh, jump man. We're gonna do a fuck ton of damage to Crump. We must be getting close to the Princess Peach and the Mario and, and the whatever. Whoa. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh man, I've been waiting. And I hate waiting! You again? You've been waiting, huh? Well, so what? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'll tell you what it means. I used the Crystal Star to lure you here. So that I could take all your Crystal Stars. How brilliant is that? Want to know the best part? Your little peachy princess ain't even here no more. So Peach totally isn't here? Where did you take her, you huge weasel? <laughs> uh, like I'd tell you the plan, that's novice villain style. No, I won't be doing anything like that. Sorry, really sorry, guys. So, ready for showtime? You guys are going to be the perfect workout for Mag this one grapple 2.0. Oh 
yeah! They made him pose and everything. Fucking cool. Hope you're up to the challenge, because this thing is raw horsepower, kitties. Ooh, new remix. <laughs> yeah, last version was buggy, so we made improvements. One, two, a dozen. Get ready for a whole new way to experience pain, you junior varsity losers. Oh, please. As if we're not gonna totally whip you for like the tenth time. Good shit. Why do you sound like butthead? I don't know. That's just kind of what I've gone with. Magnus 2.0. Ah, Magnus on Grapple 2.0. The upgraded version of Magnus on Grapple. Its basic attack is a drill move that drops from above. It also sometimes releases its fist for flying X punches. Each punch has a max HE of 5 and attack of 9. When those fists are flying, you may get attacked by fists and body in one turn. Take what careful those low HP fists early on, trust me. The iconic laugh. When the body you get HP gets low, it also fire machine guns and who knows what else. It may not look too different from the last version, but it's much stronger, so be careful. I still think the whole design's a little ridiculous though. Alright, power lift time. Always a good way to start out boss fights. Fuck. My control stick is slipping. Dude, stop! Can I use the, the D-pad for this instead? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> D-pad's way better. Here it comes, suckers! Magnus Drill Attack! Ooh. Ow. Alright, let's see what we can do. Um, I guess just spin jump, you know? Oh my god, 23 damage in one fucking turn, that's insane. He's almost dead already. Uh oh, he got fog. And Gobella's dizzy. <laughs> Time to unleash some of the sweet special features on this bad boy. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Almost fucked that up. Do I have an ice storm on me? I don't think I do. <laughs> you know what? Zest dynamite time. He Ooh. Oh, but... Damn it, it didn't get rid of the fucking, uh... It didn't get rid of the fog like I wanted it to. Yes! Is there any way I can get rid of the fog? What is that? Is that a point swab? Yes, please. Where do you do? There's not really a lot I can do here. I guess we could double dip. Shooting star. Let's see if the shooting star kills the X punch. Okay, there we go. You know what? Let's use the hottest dog. Oh, Mario's buffed. 
<laughs> oh, you guys might be little puddles of nothing by now. Oh well, I still got some tricks up my sleeve. Is he doing the audience cannon? Here comes the audience cannon. Oh wait, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Eat this. <laughs> I've never seen the audience can be so pathetic in my life. Might need to switch out to Bobbery or something so I can get rid of this fucking smoke, dude. Well, let's power lift first. I really love this power lift. This power lift is so fucking fun to use. There, that's the iconic laugh. Yep. But I can't get rid of the damn smoke, bro. Thanks, Merly. So much defense, man. I'm, I'm, I'm cruising in defense. Alright. Oh, the, the smoke is gone now. Alright, we gotta end this in style. <laughs> oh, no. What? My sweet power of robots on the ropes. This is wrong. Alright, let's end this in style. Whoa! Boom! 32 damage! Oh. In fact, the charm has run out. Oh no! <laughs> Good time for it to run out, I guess. Now those lightest Brutus! Those lighting effects are way better than the original. And he's gone. There's the last crystal star. Mario. Yeah! Mario Star Powers 98 and learned a new move, Supernova! Last Crystal Star had been hidden in the x not hideout on the moon, but by the time Mario recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Grotus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven Crystal Stars. Where will they lead him next? It's time for Bowser!